Choosing the right TV for your needs is only half the battle to reaching televisual nirvana. And once you have your shiny new set in position, it's time to get it set up and looking its best. Many TVs will have a walkthrough, easy setup for getting your channels populated and your TV hooked up to your home network. But if not, you'll want to do it manually by going into the settings menu. Internet settings will most likely be under a section called network. If you're hardwiring your set, hook up your ethernet cable, or if you're using Wi-Fi, choose your home network from the list and enter your password. Your TV should then check your connection and give you the okay to move on. As for channels, if you're hooking up a satellite or cable box, you'll do that via HDMI and the setup will take care of itself. But if you're using your TV's built-in Freeview or FreeSat tuner, you'll want to connect up your aerial or satellite cable appropriately and then scan for channels, usually called something like auto-tuning. Now that's all done, it's time to turn your attention to your picture and you'll want to play around with your TV's picture settings to make sure you're getting the best performance from your new set. Chances are your TV will be set to the factory default settings, which are likely to be very bright and overdriven in order to make it stand out on the shop floor. With a few simple tweaks, you'll be able to get the most out of it for viewing at home. As a simple rule of thumb, we suggest you turn things down. You'll want to keep contrast pretty high, but the brightness and colour settings are often set far too close to the maximum and will need tweaking. Most TVs also feature various picture processing modes, by all means try them out as they're getting better all the time, but we find they can lend a rather unnatural feel to an image. And while you may well improve on one thing, you're often compromising on another. We usually start by turning them all off and testing the picture by eye, turning to any processing we feel might help from there. If you'll be connecting an Xbox or PlayStation, you'll want to keep an eye out for game mode, which will optimise your TV for gaming. If you want to make more precise picture adjustments, and we'd certainly suggest that you do, you'll want to turn to the THX optimizer for a bit of help. And the good thing is, you'll probably have it in your home. You'll find it as an extra on most THX certified DVDs and some Blu-rays, like films from Pixar and Lucasfilm. Even better, it only takes a few minutes and can really make all the difference to your picture. So what is the THX Optimizer? It's a set of calibration patterns developed to help consumers get the best from their picture, and it's so effective we regularly use it in our testing process. Load the disc, grab your remote, and get ready to follow the Optimizer's on-screen instructions. For the very best results, you're going to need a pair of THX Optimizer glasses, which you can get online from THX.com for just a few dollars. The first test deals with contrast, and you'll want to turn the contrast option on your TV right up, knocking it down slowly until you can see eight distinct boxes. Brightness is next, and you'll see a THX logo on the screen. Once again, start with the brightness turned right up, and turn it down until you can no longer make out the logo's drop shadow, but can still just about see the logo. At the same time, you should be able to clearly see six grey boxes at the top of the screen, with the seventh just visible. The next two screens deal with colour and tint, and this is where the THX glasses come in. Depending on the version of THX Optimizer you have, you want to make sure on both screens that the words or horizontal bars are all the same shade of blue by adjusting your tint and colour options up and down accordingly. You'll get to check these settings on the next screen, and you can adjust your colour settings here further if necessary. Finally, you should see a perfect circle on the last screen, if it looks distorted, it probably means your Blu-ray player isn't set to the correct 16x9 widescreen mode. You'll need to check your player's manual to find steps on how to switch it over. Now your TV is all set up, you're ready to enjoy your favourite shows and movies in the best way possible. If you have any more questions about setting up your TV, do leave us a comment below. And if you've liked this video and found it useful, please give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more. If you want to get in contact, you can get us on all of the social media channels. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or add us on Google+.